everyone, and welcome to another Race Face Drive in 5, wrapping up the month of May. And Cole Denton is back with us with his legend car in the background, which is a good thing because you visited Victory Lane a couple times this past month. But I want to start with what you called the most fun race you think you've ever had, which was the Atlanta race. I think it was May 10th where you came second by about an inch. But still, it was one of those where you just sit back and look at it. And even though you finished second, I know you left with a big smile. Oh, it was a great race. And in qualifying my car, actually, we've been fighting engine trouble for about a month now. And my motor stalled in qualifying. And on my last lap, since my motor stalled, I got behind some cars and I got stuck behind them on the last lap of qualifying. So I qualified second. And of course, Atlanta, that's the worst starting spot yeah. in the field because oh, yeah. on the outside and I fell back to fourth on the, on the first start and they called it back because it didn't have a perfect side-by-side -side start. And then the same thing happened the next start. So we went green and I was already in fourth by lap two. And it took me a long time to get back up to second. It took me 10 laps to pass back up there because it's, it's really, really hard with uh, not a lot of engine power too. <laughs> and I got back up there to second and had a caution with four to go. And they put us double file again. And I was of like, course. oh no. And that was the time where I was finally faster but then they put us double file with four to go. And I was like, well, there's no way now. But I was able to get in in second and stay there on the inside line and had a good shot for the win. And I was leading coming to the start finish line and my motor died out and barely lost it. Nineteen thousandths. It was close. <laughs> did you did you know who had won at that point from inside the car? Was it close enough that you couldn't really tell? I, I could tell that the other kid beat me. It was a little bit obvious what's we were like this coming to the line and then I lost like that. So yeah, one, one of those where you're just, ah, but at the same time, <laughs> at, at the same time, it's like, that was really cool. <laughs> yep. it, it was pretty cool. So then you go back to Cordell and this was, if I remember right, this was your triple header weekend where you started at Atlanta on Friday night and then had um, twin features at Cordell, which you went on to sweep. Well, I, I sure did. And at Cordell, my um, fuel line actually came out and qualifying. <laughs> And I qualified pole with only four laps out of six because we didn't have practice. If it was, I wish we had practice. So that didn't happen in qualifying, but <laughs> it, we had a longer qualifying because of no practice and it came out on lap four and I had no power because I had no fuel <laughs> and I qualified pole with only four laps out of six. And I started pole, was super fast in the first race and led every lap. I mean, I had a huge lead at the end of the race. And then race two, I started pole and my motor, it had already been through a lot with the night before at Atlanta and then practice and everything. So it really didn't have a lot of power for the second race, but I held on to it, started pole, led a bunch of laps in the beginning and got freight trained on a restart with five to go. <laughs> which was a little scary at the time because I fell back to third and I was like, Oh no, I'm going to be stuck on the outside. And everybody's going to go by, but I was able to cross them just in between third and fourth. So I was crossed them, got back up to the lead in two laps. I was that much faster. I was just super fast in that race. That's what we and like to hear. Didn't get freight trained on the next restart. <laughs> so I won. It I know. was a fun race. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Anytime I see you, you're, you're smiling and laughing. It's one of those where I don't, it doesn't matter whether you win, finish second, you know, finish somewhere back. As long as you were entertained by the race, I see a smile. <laughs> yes, sir. So Cordell this past weekend was the last one of the month for you. Tell us how you did real quick in that one. And, you know, kind of what, what you guys are looking to do heading into June. I'm sure uh, with some of the motor stuff that you guys have been working through, probably uh, trying to take some time and just make sure the car's back where it needs to be again, huh? Well, um, actually, the motor made it through the race. I started third, did not have a lot of power and qualified. Like, I mean, I was like, oh, no, 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 because it burned two 16-ounce bottles of water in just eight laps of qualifying. So we were really, really worried about it. 
but I had enough power to stay in third for the whole race. And we had a caution with seven to go. So I was like, oh no, this is going to get crazy. And I, my motor, how motors are when they are about to blow, mm -hmm. they have a last little push at the very yeah. end, right? Before I was going to say, people, people think you're <laughs> kidding when you say they're always fastest before they blow. And it's like, not I, I, talk, I was <laughs> going to say, I talk to racers all the time and they say, you know, that's literally what happens. It, it is. And I was, <laughs> it just decided to go on the last restart that we had. It just all of a sudden, like, like it was a brand new motor <laughs> and I had three laps where it ran good. And I got to the lead. I, w I was close to winning the race at the end. Yeah. And then with two to go, it, it lost everything. It was hiccuping the whole straightaways. <laughs> but it, it's it's how they say, if it's if it's blowing, it's going to be perfect the last two laps until it blows. Yep. And so you, f you finished third. And yes, sir. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if I go back and look at this... Uh, other than your one national weekend, as far as like regular, as far as regular racing between Atlanta and Cordell, third's your worst finish this season, if I'm not mistaken. It is, and that's really, really good for me this season. <laughs> uh, one, uh, hey, if third is your worst finish outside of the national, and, and that's what you have to complain about, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> so. Obviously, the motor probably needs a little fresh and talk about uh, what's up next for you going into June and kind of what you guys are doing with the race car to help get it back where it needs to be. Well, we're getting ready for summertime and Thursday Thunder starting and in June. So we're going to have another Cordell race and then it's Thursday Thunder time. You excited about uh, being able to be back consistently at Atlanta for Thursday Thunder? I'm I'm pretty excited. And to me, Cordell's my favorite track, but Atlanta, mm. Thursday Thunder, there's nothing like it. I, mean, I was going to say, the level of competition there, it, you, you talk about between summer shootout at Charlotte and Thursday Thunder at Atlanta. I mean, when you're talking about legend car racing, those are really the two that everybody knows. It, it really is. And Thursday Thunder, there's nothing like it with competition, heat, how the car drives. I mean, you can run a race that's the exact same temperature as one of the Thursday Thunder races, and it's not going to drive the same as Thursday Thunder. Thursday Thunder, it's loose, it's tight, you're always chasing the car, and no matter what, even if the track conditions are the same as a fall or as a spring race, it's going to drive totally different. So that's always a challenge at Thursday Thunder. Well, for sure, and when you think about that, so for people that don't know, some of you know you don't ha necessarily have combined class races in Thursday Thunder. You've got you know five, six, seven different classes because everybody's split up into their own division. Where there's a lot of rubber getting laid down on that little quarter mile. Oh, there's a ton of rubber on it, and when you when you race it for twenty laps at a time, I mean, just in practice and qualifying, there's 150 laps put down on the track and, mm -hmm. and it gets rubbered up at the end of the end of the series. Like um, the beginning of the year last year at Thursday Thunder, the track was slow and it just didn't have a lot of grip. And then the end of the year, it was just it was super grippy, but it was mm -hmm. kind of sticky. Um, it's always slick, but. It's got a lot of grip at the end of the year. It's kind of weird. For sure. yeah. I, I was going to say, it just keeps there's collecting that rubber. There's literally nothing like it. <laughs> so with the season you've had so far, I, I know you try not to be over optimistic, but do, do you feel like with how you guys have been running that you can go in and think championship Thursday? I Thunder? feel like we can think top five for sure. And I don't want to jinx myself saying when. But... That's, that's fair. That's fair. I, I think we can definitely get top five, top three for sure. That, that's that's where you you don't want to jinx it, but you you believe you can contend. I, I do. I believe so. I think that's we what, can we can have a fight like at it. Hear. Absolutely. All right, Cole. Real quick, as we always end these people thank yous. Any any that you need to hit now's the time to do it because I know a lot of people go into that uh, yellow and green legend car behind you. 
Yes, sir. I want to thank my mom and dad, Matt Jones Motorsports, 77 Speed Shop for a super fast car every race weekend, Race Face Brand Development, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, Myers Construction, and most importantly, God. All right, Cole, always good to have you on here for the Drive-In 5, and we'll do it again at the end of June, which would put you, I think, about halfway through Thursday Thunder next time we talk. Sure will. Thank you. All right, that's Cole Denton. My name's Jacob Seelman, and we will see you next time here on RaceFace.tv for another Drive-In 5.